And welcome back to the channel today well today I've got to do a small harvest I'm out of equipment I don't have any deeps left I don't have any mediums left I have a few deep frames but I'm going to be replacing some of the frames in these these deep brood boxes that I've put out there um, and I'm going to abscond with some of the honey but uh, but I'm out of equipment so I've got to do a uh, I've got to do a small harvest and I'm gonna bring you along now I'm not gonna show myself going through each and every box I'm just gonna grab these out I might do a time lapse and I'll do it really, really fast on the camera, but then we're going to go up in the kitchen and we are going to start extracting the honey and put some of that liquid gold into a bucket. But before we do that, and before I get my gear on and start this, I wanna show you around the bee yard because a lot has changed. I've done a lot of splits and I've caught a lot of swarms because these girls have swarmed. No matter what I did, I couldn't prevent the swarms from happening. So I wanna show you the bee yard. We have 19 colonies now. Now I'm only gonna be focusing on the colonies up front, but 19 colonies is quite a lot. Now I want to uh, want to give you a look at those before we get started with the harvest. So uh, let's have a look. All right, well, here you go. A lot of things have changed here. These are uh, all the bee barns. You're familiar with all of these. We've just had a look at the, uh, the black hive. Now if we zoom in over here, we can see that we have the uh, little green nuke. Now that little green nuke is the only box that I've got available to store bees in. All the other boxes are full. We do have Space Force now, a little green box on the corner. That's going to be the Coast Guard, because I've had a lot of requests to, uh, to make that one the Coast Guard. And of course, we have the Army, the Navy, the Air Force hiding back there, and the Marines. Here we have a uh, Orange Hive, we have a Teal Hive, we have an Old Flow Hive, and then we have a Resource Hive. So all in all, I now have 19 colonies, more bees than I wanted this year. So it looks like I'm going to be paring down and getting rid of bees anywhere that I can. But that's it. So today I've got to run through all of these boxes and try to abscond with any honey that I can so that these bees continue to have a place to lay. All right, let me, uh, let me get my gear on and we'll start the uh, harvest. I'm making you some thumbnails.
right, well, here you go. Now this is, this is two shirt changes and a shower later. We are back inside and it's time to spin out all this honey. We're gonna extract it. Now, let me tell you, these bee barns are fantastic. I ended up with four deeps and eight mediums filled with honey. So that's 90 frames. This is the biggest harvest I've ever had and we're only halfway through the flow. And I've got to free these boxes up and get them back on the hive so the girls have someplace else to put the honey. So I tell you what, I'm gonna show you what I can show you, but for the most part, I'm just going to be working. My bride is gonna be working here with me and we're going to get this done. So have a look at what you can see. I'll show you some close-ups, some slow-mos, all that fun honey stuff, but we're just gonna be doing some extracting today. some of this honey out on the other side. The sun has gone down and we're still at it. So we will see you tomorrow.
Alright, well there you go, the end of another adventure. Now I know there wasn't a lot to look at in this video, but quite honestly I can't show you 20 minutes of me pulling frames of, of honey from the beehives and uncapping and spinning because it's the same thing over and over and over again. It's a lot of repetition. Now we did spend all day in the bee yard yesterday, and when I say all day, I mean all day. Uh, we were out there from 9 o'clock in the morning getting ready and pulling the frames. We got that finished around 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the afternoon. We started the extraction process, didn't finish that until about 11.30 last night. Uh, this morning I brought the, the wet supers back out, put them on the hives because we are only halfway through the flow and these girls are going to be bringing in more nectar so I want to give them a place to put it uh, with comb that's already drawn out. Anyways, I think the final tally yesterday was 242 and a half pounds of honey. That's roughly 30 gallons from 90 frames. That's not too bad. Actually, it's the best harvest I've had uh, since I've been beekeeping and the flow's not even over yet. So uh, I do believe that the bee barns work. Matter of fact, I know that the bee barns work. As Jim says, this is the way I believe that. Uh, I am a believer, a true believer in the bee barns. Anyways, with all of that said, I'm glad you uh, stopped by to have a look at this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. Come on, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. Be notified of all my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun here. And all days aren't fun. Some days are work days, and this, this was a work day. But with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go enjoy some of that honey on my toast. You have a great day. Be happy, and I will see you next week. Take care.